Hello everybody, this is Chucky from the Clico Brothers. It's an exciting day today. I received a package from Norway. Inside this package, I'm pretty sure there is a device that I read about on a blog by a man named Joachim, J-O-A-K-I-M. I have no idea if that's pronouncing his name correctly. He's a very nice person. I read about the blog. I thought his device that he made was incredibly cool. So I called him and asked him what it would take to get one in America. And he volunteered to rebuild me one and send it. And he did some testing of the new software, so it's updatable, which is pretty cool. And then he documented excellently well. His blog is very, very excellent. I'll include a link in the description to the blog that I found, and then there are many, many other pages describing his progress for this device. There's a Norwegian postage stamp. They cost 75.00 of whatever currency they have. It was sent priority airmail. It was from Norway. There's a custom sticker saying they have permission to open it. It is described as a small audio device that weighs 100 grams and has a value of 20 euros. And there is no other customs information except it was signed for on 816. And that's the same as a postage stamp. And I received it on 824. So that is eight days in the mail, in the air mail through customs from Norway to the United States. There's a back side of the Norwegian envelope. Pretty interesting to see that they have writing just like we do. <laughs> Except it's in Norwegian and I can't read it. Obviously Norwegian post. And they got barcodes and description of the air gap. All right, so now I'm gonna open it. There it is. All right. All y'all ready? Big exciting reveal. Small audio devices from Norway. In bubble wrap. Yay! We got a note. Note says, have fun. I hope it works with the other sense as well. Just ask if anything is unclear or doesn't work, Joachim. It's very nice. So there's a bubble wrap insert from the package. There's my hand in reference size. It's pretty small. There we are. And there it is. We'll fold it open. And what do we have? We have two cables. Looks to be computer connectors, probably Molex. Hard drive, power supply style and a three pin internal DVD audio connector, possibly. And a pretty hefty cable. And two five pin bin MIDI ends. Oh wait, look at that, that's not a five pin bin. That's a five pin bin MIDI, MIDI plug, if you will. That, however, is a six pinned in. It's the same as my PG200 cable. There's two pigtail ends, which I asked him to ship these this way because I have every intention of putting these internal to my GR700. And PG200 version four, it's Joachim signature. Company name is Zonix, X-O-N-I-K, Zonic. It's got some other information. I don't yet know what it is. If I can get my camera to focus. There you are. The fifth day of August, 2018. Version one of this particular version of chip. Little tiny power supplies, four or five transistors, a couple of LEDs. I don't know what the white chip is. Looks like an opto isolator of some sort. Can't really tell. So it'll look something like that. 
what this device is is the MPG 200 and everybody knows what a PG 200 Roland synthesizer programmer is for the JX3P, the GR700, and the MKS30. I happen to have an MKS30 and a GR700 or two, and I have one PG200 programmer. PG200 programmers are significant premium on the internet nowadays. Over $300 is the going rate. And this little device was significantly less than that. I have notes that will be in the description of what the going rate is for this device if you needed to buy one. So this is just the unboxing. We have two connectors, the MPG200 device and two cables that came all the way from Norway. Before I install this or modify it in any way, I'm going to do a full review as to well, how well it works and compare against the PG200. That will be happening in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see that video, like and subscribe to the Clico Brothers YouTube video channel. Big thank you to Joachim for sending this to me for review and installation in my GR700 project.